Alright, welcome back to Will's Lock and Key where we will start on another vehicle. This is going to be a 2008 Honda Odyssey. No keys. We're going to go out and cut keys for that vehicle, but stand by while we determine what's necessary and what's needed to cut the key for that vehicle. So, with what a our shot. tech manual here again, and we looked up an 09, excuse me, an 08 Honda Odyssey. We see what type of, of key blanks we can use. We know that it's a transponder. There's the code series that we'll be using. On this one, we couldn't uh, retrieve a key code right off of the bat, so we're going to go to the vehicle and cut this key. We're looking for a blade with a V marked on it. And the reason for that is because is that denotes the type of chip. It is a Phillips encrypted chip. And um, we're going to use uh, to program, I'm going to use the dealer program, the Honda Diagnostic System, to do all of the programming on this car. And there it is right there, the factory tool. I'm going to use the HDS tool with, with the HIM module. That's your interface module. Uh, that requires a PIN code. Uh, we'll use a PIN code generator to uh, obtain that information so that we can program the key into that Odyssey and make it run, at least as far as we're concerned. Before we cut a key that costs a lot of money, we're going to use a test blank. And this is the way the test blank looked, the test key looked. We're going to cut whatever the requirements are on this test blank. And then, if all goes well, we will use this particular key blank here, which, as you can see, there's that V on there that was required. So, this chip, I mean, this, excuse me, this key does have that Phillips uh, encrypted chip inside of the head of this key waiting for us to program it into that Honda but Odyssey. Keys require okay. special equipment. That's why it. they cost special money. We're going to use a Triax E code. We're going to turn it into the mobile, well, uh, use it on our mobile platform and make keys for this car. Here we go. Our corner of nowhere and went waiting on the green light. Actually, again, corner of Republican and Mocha Way. We're going to be turning towards the airport. When I'm giving people direction to the shop, this is a corner of Pool Holly and Nimitz. Uh, this is a landmark that I use. Uh, we're headed west right now, so Nimitz and Lagoon Drive. We're going to be turning here. We're going to cut keys on. This is a 2008 Honda Odyssey. Let's get busy. The car's locked, so we got to open it. This is what the inside of a 2008 Honda Odyssey looks like. All the gadgets and buttons and all of that kind of stuff of a new car. What we're going to use to uh, make a key, the uh, initial test key is the glove compartment lock. I'm going to take that glove compartment lock off and hopefully there will be some information that I can use to cut a key. We open the glove compartment up. Thank God it was unlocked. And should be a couple screws in here that we can use to get this lock cylinder off this glove lock. There's a latch. It said, oh yeah, there they are. Two Phillips screws coming out. Lock coming out. Some information written on this lock on the back here. But I'm not sure at this point whether that's the information we're looking at. Uh, we are going to use a computer program to determine what the code for this actually is anyway. That's all we have to work with is a partial code. So the K05, and it's either going to be 0 through 9, so we could possibly wind up cutting 10 keys 
before one of them operate. Either case, let's get rocking. These are the cuts we're going to use on the first key we cut, which uh, will be K050, and we'll just progression with the last number changing from 0 through 9, and uh, one of them is going to actually be the key we cut for the car because we couldn't retrieve any other information. Sometimes you got to go with what you got. Okay, remember that. We're going to use the old tri -E we bought with us. We've got the information already punched in. We're going to cut. First key. Let's see here. We're going to insert the cuts. We're not doing a Lexus. We're going to shift over to a Honda. We're not cutting the ballet. We're cutting the main or master key, which has six chambers. And now we're going to enter cuts. We've entered the bidding or the cuts. Now it's time to cut the key. Now we're gonna have, we might have to repeat this process nine more times, but I guarantee you we're gonna cut a key for this car. We look, that, that was psych. That was not the key code. So what we did was took out, took the glove lock apart and on the inside of the, excuse me, on the outside of the inside housing is a actual key code, Kilo 337. Now we're going to cut that and watch what happens. But just so you know, the way this thing is put together, this would normally look like the regular lock, the regular housing and everything. But in the back of that, oh wait, there's this little piece right here, and then it's held together uh, uh, or snaps on to the other piece by the way of that retainer, and then it's also held in place by this retainer, all in this one housing here. Nuts. This is the bidding that we actually have to work with. Now, you didn't think I was going to cut nine keys and all of that without taking a lock apart when I couldn't see the whole code, when I knew that I could take whatever tumblers that were in the lock and put that information in this system here and it would give me at least some possibles. You don't sit up and waste a bunch of blanks trying to figure. You hit one, you get lucky, fine. If not, then use your skills. That's what we're getting paid. The right one right now. We're gonna check it out on the car. See what happens, and then we'll cut the transponder and program that one in. There we go. That's beautiful, man. That is beautiful. Pre-test to the uh, ignition here. Let's see here. Oh, oh yeah. All day. All day. And we're gonna check it out of the ignition. This is what I do. Okay, now see, now we made the key here. Now we're gonna check it out the door, make sure it works in the door. Oh man, that is just fantastic. Oh my we God, go. we're in, we're on. In the ignition, turning. Uh-oh, wheels locked. What we got? Uh oh, there we go. Oh, it was just a little taut there. Oh yeah, that's the one. We got battery power. Now we're gonna go and cut a transponder key with that encrypted chip and program it into the car. Now, armed with the correctly cut key and a Honda diagnostic system here. There's the HIM module right there, the interface module, Honda interface module, and we've connected that via the onboard diagnostic port to 
our computer here which we're using to run the not only the Honda Kiko generator but the Honda diagnostic system we can go ahead and rock and roll so while the diagnostic system is coming up I'll show you what the dash looks like with an unprogrammed key this is the dash instrument cluster some people call it the IPC instrument panel cluster there's a little green light right there flashing to let us know that we have an, a transponder that is in the ignition and has been detected by the immobilizer coil which is that black ring you see around the ignition here the transponder in here has been detected by that because we have it on and because we have this ignition on and the car has power this receiver here is saying hey I don't know that chip it's telling the main computer I don't know that so if you try to start this car right now it will not start so here we go we're gonna to attempt to program a transponder into this car man I'm looking at a honey right now oh boy the diagnostic system diagnostics here we go let's get into the car she's up and running it's initializing takes it a couple seconds it gives you choices initialize. number one pops up is the kind of car this is okay there it is right there this is a 2008 Honda Odyssey now the only thing I have to do is plug in the mileage we are using OEM equipment so uh, it don't mess around it don't play around it asks you for what it wants and it wants that so this is a 2008 I'll plug in the mileage and we'll go from there once you get the mileage plugged in you can go ahead and go to the next screen right there it's going to establish communication with the vehicle and give you some options we're going the systems because we're not trying to at this point figure out if what if there's a problem with the car so we're going to go to systems and here are all the things we can mess with but of all the things we're going to, we could do what we're going to do is go into the immobilizer right there and the system's going to talk to us tell us a few things and we're going to do those things and since we don't have a program key we're going to set up the immobilizer and instead of deleting everything and needing to put a bunch of keys in we're just going to add keys we haven't replaced the the uh, immobilizer or the main computer or receiver control group so we're just going to add one key and we're going to say that all keys were lost now this thing's going to tell us it's going to tell us cool. Now, then I tell you, every so time you get started doing something, it tells me that I need to uh, obtain the pin code uh, for the immobilizer. I've done that. I've decoded the VIN for that. Okay, now I have to enter that information. How many keys? We could have up to six in this 2008 Odyssey. We're only going to put one. Now we're going to start the process.